it's Nicole. Today I have another video as part of the 6x6 paper pad series. Again, this is a sketch bundle offered through Scrapbook Generation. I will provide a link in the description box below for where you can find these sketches. This is sketch number six. I am a little bit behind on the live Facebook group, which at this point I'm kind of <laughs> over. I'm like not overdoing it, but just like I don't care that I'm behind. I am slowly kind of getting my mojo back together here. And in my six by six prep video, I shared with you guys just some like basic supplies that I had picked out. And at the time that I did that, I still didn't know which papers I was going to use. And I still didn't know when I sat down. So what I ended up doing was I just took both paper pads and pulled out four patterns that I felt like I liked and just kind of put them with my photos and tried to make a decision based on that. I really liked the more modern look of the fancy pants one, but the colors were pretty muted. So in the end, I end up going with this, um, old, which I think it's Stella and Rose is the line from my mind's eye. It's super old, but it's one of my favorites. The colors just ended up working out being more rich in, in their tones and stuff. So I just kind of picked out four that I really liked and settled on an order for them. And even here at this point, I was still kind of playing around trying to make a decision. So from here, I started trimming down my photos. Now, if you have the sketch bundle, you already know that the sketch sizes are depicted on the sketch and there's a lot of three and a half by fives and three by fives. So these are great for me personally right now. I'm still some issues with my picture mate leaving like a white edge just so it works better for me right now. And her sketch shows six portrait photos going across both pages. So knowing that I had 10 images instead of six that I wanted to use, I go ahead and change mine to have two pictures take up the space of one that's depicted on the sketch, especially since a lot of mine are cell phone pictures that I took in a horizontal orientation. So I just did a little bit of math and kept the width the same. So in a spot that was a three by five, my photos were cropped to three inches wide by two and a half inches tall. And for the other ones, it was three and a half inches wide and two and a half inches tall. So the actual area where the photos are going to be is the same. However, because I have that white border, so when I cropped my photos, the actual photo and the space on the print where there's ink are the sizes that Allison depicts on the sketch. Mine are a tiny bit bigger because I have that white border going around. So I already knew that if I went ahead and just blindly cut my papers to five by five, that they were going to not extend to the same width as my photos. So I cut them to be five inches tall, and then I just took a pencil and kind of measured basically the one on the far left and the far right so that my photos and my paper all line up on the exterior edges, if that makes sense. And that's not something that I have thought to do. Just in the moment, I kind of realized, oh, hold on. I've got a white border. This is actually going to make my total number here wider than the 10 inches that's depicted. So that's something that I just kind of try to look out for because you can always take paper away. You can't really add it once you've already cut it. So from here, I have, you know, I've decided on my papers. I've decided on my photos. All that stuff is kind of ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach them so that they're not sliding around on my page while I am in the process of making other choices. Now on Allison's sketch, she has some stitching lines depicted up in the paper, like the pattern paper area. I chose to just do some white thread on the white textured cardstock and just kind of frame everything. Um, I just kind of wanted something that was subtle. I didn't want like just a ton of stitching. Plus I kind of felt like 
the specific patterns that I had picked were going to just be a little busy or just, I don't know. It, I kind of feel like you have to go with what your mood is at the time too, if you're going to do stitching and just kind of make those changes. If you feel like it's going to be better for your layout. Um, and I am going to apologize about the sort of sensor blur blob up in the top part of the video. Um, I have definitely been sort of struggling with sort of just the chaos of everything that's been going on. So between either I started rewatching a TV series that I never finished, so I just started it from the beginning. I have been video chatting with friends. I've been watching a lot of YouTube, and that's kind of helping me to sort of get up here, sit down at my desk, keep working through things if I've kind of got something else not necessarily distracting me, but literally just kind of helping take my mind off of other things. And I didn't want to get like a copyright strike if it was Netflix or, you know, if I'm video chatting with a friend, I don't feel like her face needs to be on my video, that kind of a thing. So just fair warning, if you see like a weird like shape hovering on the top of my video, that's just my poor editing skills. I'm still learning things. Um, I finally just decided to go ahead and order a new microphone. So pretty much this is our test video on not using my phone to record audio. So that's saving me a little bit of time just from not having to basically get it off my phone, send it to somewhere else, get it from there and put it in a video. So just wanted to put it out there that if there's some weird censoring going on, I apologize. That's, I haven't censored it yet. So I'm not real sure where my skill level is going to land by the time that I finish editing it and getting it uploaded. So I guess it'll be a surprise for you guys as far as what I pick to cover my phone with. And I've heard from people in the past that they get upset when they see a phone, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, you know, do you watch TV while you scrap? Do you have something going on on your phone? You know, I put it where it's convenient for me. And sometimes I remember to move it. Just like sometimes I remember to, to move my, my drink out of the way. Today was not that day. <laughs> like at this point, I feel like if I got out of bed, I'm, I'm doing good for the day. Like I listened to our school board meeting tonight that went for four hours. And that <laughs> that's like a whole other a whole other thing that I'm just like, just make a decision. Just either take my kids or tell me I have to keep my kids. Either way, I need to figure out a plan. The whole not having a plan thing is really, really messing up my life. So I'm thankful that things like Netflix and Hulu and video chats and podcasts and things like that are keeping me somewhat sane and getting like my scrapbooking mojo back. Like I was talking to a friend today and we did some scrapping together today and we both kind of got back into this, um, the six by six class and we both got a couple layouts done today. And it was just kind of nice to just kind of plug along through those things, like this list of things that you have that you want to do or a list of videos that you want to be able to get to or post or edit or all that kind of stuff. And I don't know. At this point, I'm at this point. I'm like, like I said, I'm rewatching an old show because the show that I was watching, like, I can't get to the next two seasons, and Google is not helping me. I have completely caught up on a podcast that I fell in love with, and I'm almost embarrassed to tell you guys how many episodes there are on that alone. Um, lots of audiobooks going on, that kind of thing. Um, back to my layout, I did just kind of want to remind you guys that a lot of my six by six pads, I don't have matching embellishments for. So that creates kind of like a stash diving opportunity. So because I'm using an older my mind's eye line that kind of leans more like muted kind of feel to it. I just kind of went to my October afternoon stash and was able to steal things from different collections. Like I used, um, there was a travel line 
Oh, that has the girl with the bun. I can't think of the name of it. And the like office worker line. Can't think of the name of that one either. That one had a lot of blues and teals in it. And then I went through my like leftover embellishment binder and I was able to find some stuff from sheet tags that I had bought years ago. Um, there's some phrase stickers from simple stories that I pulled. Um, just kind of random stuff. I literally just sort of went wandering my room and found anything that would kind of work. And sometimes they work out well. I think this one worked out well. Sometimes it ends up being like the leftover casserole that you thought in your mind was going to be good. And then like you eat it and you're like, nope, those were things that you should never combine. Like, <laughs> so I was kind of glad that the things that I was finding were working out. I originally wanted more of like a modern looking or just like a clean looking layout because it was talking about cars and typically cars, you know, they look really nice and they, they're shiny and, and you're talking about things like that. So it was kind of weird to end up with a layout that I liked that was more like muted and maybe like old timey type of supplies that were involved in it. So yeah, that is pretty much my layout. Um, again, I always put like the photos at the end so you guys can see them and down below you'll find links to anything that's still available. This this layout, probably none of the supplies are available other than like the sketch bundle. Um, all, and I think I have my video set up to where specific links stay in the video description. So you should always be able to find like my gallery at scrapbook.com. That one, for whatever reason, just seems to be the easiest to kind of upload and manage. And I think it's probably one of the more popular online galleries I think that people use so if you're wanting to actually like see the full picture and not have to keep rewinding in a video or like if you're wanting to try to scrap lift or something like that I would suggest going there um other than that oh and I have been putting these layouts into a playlist so if you're looking for other videos that are from the sketch bundle there is a six by six paper pad series playlist for you guys so with that i'm gonna go ahead and sign off and i will see you guys in another video shortly because i already did the layout go me bye guys